Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I'm creating some place cards using the Alta New Gratitude Stamps. These are really nice leaf stamps. They have some outlines and also centerpieces that you can color and stamp together to layer together really colorful leaves. This set also includes a lot of nice messages that you can put together for your place cards. I am working on some Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and I'm just cutting this in half. So the mini card will measure two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I'll be gold embossing my leaves and my message. So I'm using my anti-static pouch just to go over my paper a little bit and also my Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink to stamp up my greeting. I'll be stamping my greeting first on several of the cards and then I'll go back and stamp my leaves once I have that completed. So I have that really well inked. I'm using my stamp platform. I'm just pressing that down right onto the watercolor cardstock, and I am using the smooth side of that cardstock. So once I have that stamped, I can get out my extra paper that I'll use as a catch and my gold embossing powder and just sprinkle this right on the top. I'll tap off the excess and then use my heat tool to heat up the gold embossing powder until it's nice and shiny. Since I'm stamping several of these, I've done a bunch with my greeting and now I'm stamping with my leaves. And I think it's just much easier to, to go ahead and do in batches where you're doing one thing several times over and over again and then going on to the next step. So I have my leaves stamped and once again I'll use my gold embossing powder and I'll sprinkle this on. Then I can tap off the excess and then heat set that with my heat tool. To color in my leaves, I'll be watercoloring. You can use your Distress inks, you can use your Daniel Smith paint sheets, or in this case, I'm using my Mission paints, which I've already put in a palette and I use all the time. I'm using a smaller brush. This is about a number four tip, and I'm just getting some of my ink or my paint picked up. And I'm just going randomly. I'll start adding in some color into each of these little stripe areas. And I'm going to use some unusual colors. I really like to have fun with the watercolors and not really go by any certain color or pattern. Also, with the fall leaves, there are several colors in fall. And I do like to always add a little bit of purple. If you look at some of your really rich colors of fall leaves, you'll find just a, an enormous amount of different colors in your leaves. So these are really fun. Just have fun watercoloring in and letting the your paints pull right into the areas where the embossing creates little boundaries and it will hold that ink in and it will hold it really concentrated. If you have areas where you're not really happy about your color, you can go ahead and just swab that up with a little bit of a paper towel or even a baby wipe and soak that up and go back in and add more color on top. I have stamped an extra leaf on some masking paper. This is just a 3M masking tape and now I'm cutting around the leaf. This is going to create a mask to where I can go back in and add some of the antique linen oxide ink right on top. And this will kind of color my white paper and kind of bring it down a bit so it has a more of an earthy tone. I'll just be adding a light layer using my blending tool and smoothing out. And I'll pull away from my masked leaves so that I don't uh, roll the paper up on itself. So you can see that it's just starting to color the paper slightly and this will just warm up the tone of this paper. And I'll be using my spritz bottle, just giving it a few sprays of water, and then I can blot this with a paper towel, and it'll give me that really nice, beautiful oxide look. The cards can be used as place cards for your Thanksgiving table. I think they're really gorgeous, especially with the gold embossing and the multicolor watercolor leaves. I hope I've given you some inspiration in using the Alta New Gratitude leaves. And as always, thanks so much for watching.